I just watched a bu bunch of YouTube videos. I'm like, I prepared. You know, that's how I'm feeling. So hopefully I don't fuck up because I'm going to be so mad if I come to school fucking bald headed. <laughs> if you can't put me in my place, you ain't even on my level. This like dancing with the devil. He ain't tell me shit about it. What is up in V Nation? It is your girl, Stevie. Welcome back to the channel. Bow. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm your host who likes to do the most, Stevie. And just to become a part of the crew, you just gotta subscribe down below. If you that's it, trust. Like, easy as that, period. But today, I wasn't planning to make a video today, but I love my everyday streak so far. I have messed up, so I don't wanna break it. So yeah. I'm planning to do uh, customizing my lace front because I'm planning to bleach the knot today and pluck the frontal. I already plucked the frontal a couple days back, but I'm just going back to finish it because I started and then I stopped because I had to go to work and I never went back. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys all the things you do need because this is my first time ever doing this. I really will be mad. So first thing you're going to need a comb. That's really it. You need a comb. That's the most important thing you need personally to me. I feel like you're going to need it in a lot of steps. Tweezers to plug the frontal. I'm using Pump It Up Spritz just to hold back the frontal when I am bleaching the knot so none of it gets in the way. A mixing container. I forgot to buy a mixing container. Like when I was leaving the store, I felt like I was forgetting something. So I was like, let me buy some eyelash glue. And I forgot the container. So this is my trusty spoon that I use for literally mixing everything and then a bowl that I had in my craft bin some shampoo for when you have to wash out the bleach obviously the developer powder and like the VW lightning powder and the the, the developer I got the 30 because everyone uses the 30 and I was like I'm not gonna use the 40 because knowing me I'm not coming back anytime soon and foil i don't have the big foil so i just because like grabbed a bunch of the small foil and the most important thing you're gonna really need i thought it was the comb but it's your frontal or your closure i got a frontal so yeah that's what i'm working with my lighting is bad because i set up to flip the camera but i'm just doing my little intro that's why the lighting's so bad but here's what i got so far i did pluck what side did i pluck i plucked oh i plucked i plucked this side right here and this plus like this side I didn't get to yet and this side I plucked already it looks like I don't even know in the front I like I don't have this little section right here to pluck but let's get to it so I hope y'all enjoy the video here is my little setup it's not the best setup but still a setup I was trying so hard to get it I wish y'all could see I got a candle holding my freaking phone my nails are ugly and my toes are ugly they're right over there y'all can see them this is literally what I'm wearing to work today So this is the side that I have not worked on 
at all. You see that line? I know y'all see that harsh as line. And then this is the line that I have worked on. I mean, this is the side that I did work on. So yeah, I also think I got a bald spot on here. Wait, no, it's not a bald spot. Okay, I thought I had a whole fucking bald spot on here. It's just so thin. But yeah, the other side, it definitely needs more work. No lie. This side, I, I'm like okay with it. I don't know. This little end right here needs work. No lie. So I'm going to go get my tweezers. I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to fix that side. I just, of course my fucking tweezers will fall when I'm doing this video. I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay. Because then I can actually see it. Okay, y'all, I think I'm officially, yep, that's how I want it. Boom. Once I bleach the knots, hopefully that fixes it all up. But after a bunch of mistakes, you still see that harsh line. Am I the only person who sees that fucking line? Like, on this side, I don't see no line. But on this side, you can see this fucking harsh-ass line. It's driving me insane, but I don't have time to be doing all this So. I'm just keep going. Also, I forgot to mention a brush. I don't have a brush, so I'm just using my edge brush to, you know, sprit for the spritz. I'm just gonna lay the hair back so it does not get in the fucking way.
Okay, so this is the lace right now. Once it is completely laid down with the spritz. So spritz not needed no more. Now that we have that laid down, I'm just going to let it like dry up. Because you know spritz do be wet. So it has to dry up. So while we're letting that dry up, I'm going to go put it near the fan so it could hurry up. So let's make our mixture. So for the BW2, I'm not going to use too much. I just know I'm going to use two more tables of the powder than the liquid. Also, I don't have gloves on because I don't think we got gloves. What does it smell like? Oh, this don't smell like nothing. I thought this would be like strong. It don't even smell like nothing. The liquid is only $1.99 and the powder is like $14.99. So in total, it's only like $17 to do all of this. And th this will last you a good little minute. And the bigger bottle of this is only like $4. So I feel like this is worth it. But I don't know. That might not go for everybody. But how long can you have a lace? I don't know. Please tell me there was not a hair in there. Okay, so I think... I don't think this is... Oh, this big one's wrong. But yeah, I'm just going to use two large fucking spoons of this. Well, cups of this. Okay, y'all, be careful when you do this because when you close everything and you unwrap it and you slap it down hard... This be strong. Oh my goodness. It flew in my nose. But for the developer, I'm just going to put literally half of that. Because they everyone, every video I watched it, that you need a cheesecake consistency or some shit. So I'm just going to take it slow to find the right mixture for myself personally. So this is definitely not it. I'm going to add more. I did not need this much. I just realized that. Consistency, yeah, I'm going for like. It doesn't drip like you see I, oh in my eye oh my goodness it doesn't drip like it's holding on but it's not dripping so that's the consistency you need if I sound weird it's because this is so strong oh my goodness it sounds like it's two perms combined like it's a cat liver box from an abandoned house it's so strong let me go put a fan on okay so I just set up tin foil for the hair I do have separate like, I have the little small tin foil. I don't have the giant, like, roll. So, I just use what I got, you know? It's my lace after the spritz dried up for it. So, it's not going nowhere. It's not moving. It's not in my fucking way. That's what we're trying to keep it like. And don't worry about the spritz either. We will be washing this hair. So, you're just going to flip the lace. Just flip it. Have everything down and neat. Make sure. I'm trying to make sure I don't end up getting any of the sides bleached so i'm gonna just rip them out like these little weird sides that get in the way i don't know why they are like spritz didn't even help them lay i should have put spritz all in the back too that would have been a good idea but if you get caught you get caught i'll just i don't know what i'll do okay so just take your mixture that you made Slap it on the back of whatever you want. I'm gonna be using this handy dandy ass spoon. I'm literally gonna use this much because I'm scared of shit. I do not wanna mess up this lace when I tell you I'm not trying to go back on the first day of school looking a fucking mess. I'm really not. guys please be careful with this i'm like don't press down on it y'all is you don't need any force on this like literally i'm putting no force
I think that's enough. I'm sorry. <gasps> Y'all. I really fucking hate myself right now. Wow. Is it supposed to look like this? I don't fucking know. Okay, I'm just laid down. I don't fucking know. The spritz trick came through because if I had not used that spritz trick, boy, this hair really would have been a mess. Okay. So this is the only piece right here. This strand and that strand are the only two that got coated. God, please help me. I'm good. Wow, I have some more fucking shit. Okay. I'm gonna just clean that off. I'm gonna clean that off too. Some of this hair already has like some pieces that are like fucking scented already. Okay, I'm just gonna let it sit for how long I think it needs to be sitting for. Cause I don't fucking know. I put it outside. Cause my house is way too cold. And my aunt said that it would free up the pockets on this eating some chips. Okay, so I've had this for up outside for about, I think six minutes. And I had time cause my room was way too cold. So yeah, you can see the brown spots on this. So that tells you that it is ready. So let's go wash it out. For about this is my second rinse. So I did one first rinse with just to get off the bleach and then I did with shampoo the second and this is the third with shampoo again. This is how much hair I lost. And I'm just using basic Dollar Tree shampoo. So yeah. And this is how it's looking. So I think I'm basically done for that. I'm just gonna, I don't know, do I need to air dry or do I? Do I blow dry it? I kind of want to blow dry it. But will that mess up the hair? I don't know. It looks thin. But yeah. So I'm just going to go blow dry it and then I'll be finito. Okay, so I am in the bathroom. I'm going to blow dry the hair. I don't even know how the hair came out, to be honest. so this is my final initial of the hair I don't think y'all could see it but I can see it so that's the problem so here's the hair I ended up bleaching a little bit of the hair but I'm not worried about that because this hair like if y'all watch the review you know there's some strands in here that are blonde already and I was planning to dye it like or tint it another color so yeah I'm not mad about that at all I don't even care but I'm just upset about the knots like that's what I was going to fix and it seems like I don't know none of these knots got what I was looking for 
I did end up tinting the hair though, so that's cool. You can't even see the knots, what the freak? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm stressed. And this hair, it needs to fasten up before I give it a review, cause I'm already tired of this hair, but I haven't even installed it. So, I'm okay, so same thing, spritz. You guys already seen it, so I don't feel like. Okay, so perfect. So we're gonna do round two again. Well, I mean round two, first time. Round two, let's take charge. Same routine, I have a bunch left. Ew, it feels weird, okay. I don't know if it's supposed to feel like that. Maybe because I've been letting it sit, it fluffed up. There we go, that's why. <coughs> oh, I forgot the smell. Okay. This is literally how much I'm putting on this lace this time. Cause I'm frustrated and I'm tired. So I'm gonna take my foil down, I'm about to go slap it on there. Wrap it, on there. Wrap it up. Okay, so round two again. This is what the hair is looking like. I um, think they're like the knots are bleached. Um, this hair, after the bleaching cycle, it was shedding a shit ton. Well, not a lot. Like every comb through, it was shedding. Like there was like shedding. Like every time I run the comb through it, there's hair coming out. So. But here's what the back looks like. It just looks normal. It didn't over process. Only like this spot like right here. If y'all can see it. But it's not like brassy. So that's good. I'll get it that way. Let just blow dry and get this done with. So here's what the hair looks like. I can still. Well. Okay. So there's a couple knots. If I did one more shot. I would. I would have it. I would really have it. This part right here is extremely brassy. Or is that just me? So I don't know y'all, this is what it looks like so far. It looks a hot ass mess, that's for sure. My hair is telling me it's tired and I'm tired. I need to straighten this hair cause it's foofy. But yeah, I'm done. I don't know if y'all could, let me take off my lace. I look, a, I said lace, let me take off my cap cause I look a mess, I don't know if I'm gonna take it out. But yeah. I don't know if y'all can see it because I can't. <laughs> I should have just left this fucking thing alone. Yeah, it is brassy. I thought it wasn't brassy, but um, it's a scalp. At the end of the day, it is a scalp. Um, Just a messy one. It, it's a scalp, though. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy watching me struggle and fail slightly. I'm, I mean... I don't know if it's a fail because I did end up tinting the hair which is good the only thing I feel that is the blondes in my hair that's the only thing and it's kind of brassy but trust that I can fix that yep it's not bad at the end of the day so yeah guys um thank you for watching my problematic ass video bye